So we work in the Children's Rights and AI project at the Alan Turing Institute. We think this is a really important area because children are the group who are probably going to be the most impacted by AI over the course of their lifetimes. So it's really important that we develop approaches to putting children at the centre of decision making around AI. The children of this generation would not know a time before AI and before smartphones. And I think it's really important that we start speaking to them. They actually have some really interesting things to say if all we can do is just give them a chance to actually speak and share their views. So I think the first thing that we have to do is actually insist that the children's voices are at the table. Um, you know, uh, organizations like mine, Five Rights, uh, we work with young people all the time. Children are early adopters of technology. The canaries in the coal mine, as we've seen in social media, gaming and other carelessly developed and poorly regulated digital environments. The AI debate should start with children, not push them to the fringe. Young people who have actually some very creative things to say, and it's always worth saying in this, that young people tend uh, towards having a sort of a sense of fairness, a very inclusive attitude, but they love and they want to engage with digital technology. So transcendent AI, really means prioritizing the needs and opportunities of children at the heart of AI policy and regulation and AI systems. And here, when we talk about AI systems, it's the full life cycle, um, which I know most people in the, in, in the room here understand, but you know, the design, the develop, the deploy, and, and even the sunset. I think there are three challenges in embedding children's rights in AI systems. The first is that those who design and develop AI systems don't often know what children's rights are. So I think it's really important that there's a, a process of informing people. Um, I think the second is recognizing how widely children's rights are affected by AI. So a lot of AI that isn't um, embedded in something for children nonetheless uh, affects the environment in which children live and grow up. And so um, it really matters uh, for them. And then uh, difficult for me is um, encouraging a process of embedding children's rights within AI systems without fear mongering, without saying you must do this because children will be, you know, we don't want to spread moral panics, but um, there are real costs of getting this wrong and not respecting children's rights. And I think really recognizing that is, is vital. Obviously, there are a lot of risks and dangers when we think about AI and its impact on young people. You know, first and foremost, mental health. You know, social media companies and co corporations are really focusing on the aim of maximizing the welfare and uh, their profits, but not really the well-being of young people, which poses a lot of risk on their well-being and their in their future. But with that, I think there's also a lot of exciting opportunity for how we can leverage AI as a tool for positive change and to combat problems, but also support young people in making the impact they want to make.